Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 5 as Japan. So the main goal today, of course, is to build terracotta army and get the maximum out of it. And then we'll see, I'm actually not sure what we're gonna focus on next. Most likely we'll attack uh, Portugal and try to expand north. Mm. Can we do anything before we end this turn? I don't think so. What we could do though is to send this chariot archer with our settler. And we're gonna use him as a garrison in the city we started here. Well, Portugal actually has the highest uh, production. Hmm, interesting. I didn't expect that. But on the other hand, that means they can't grow that that much. Yeah, they're working all the salt. That probably that's what's giving them the production. Uh... Okay, so much for taking this. Um... Uh, worker, but we can take this one. Buenos Aires is not protected by anyone, so let's declare. And peace out. We desperately need one more worker. So that was another thing I wanted to do, take one as quickly as possible. Okay, what's the fastest way to get home now? I'll just go this way and we have worker here. Okay, fine, we'll send him to Tokyo. Uh, there are some tiles that we want to improve as well. And we have to start thinking about roads. I'll just stay here for now. Wait. Production, how long until we get the religion? 33. Now let's just go shrine into monument. Shrine, monument. Barracks, council, walls, I think. You want to declare on Gandhi? Well, you can do that. I'm not gonna join. But it's good to know that uh, he is focusing his attention somewhere else. Now, I'm a bit nervous about Arabia. They could try to attack. Like, that is quite close to Tokyo. How are we doing on the horsemen? And next social policy in 51. Hmm. Unmet player entered classical era. Hopefully no one will be able to steal the Terracotta army. I usually don't build it, but in this case we went all in on it. And we can't really afford to lose it. Uh, you want my lapis. That will be four gold per turn. I think we can get a better deal than four gold per turn. At least I'll try to get a better deal. There is bronze working. 
Do we have iron? I can see iron here, that's six iron. Then I can see iron here, that's two, that's another two. Um, that's it, I think. But 10 iron is pretty decent. I think that's more or less all that we need. Is there any more in Portuguese territory? Nope, nothing we can see right now. And let's send the Pathfinder north. Get some more details about Portugal. Okay, you are done with this task. What I like about Lapis is that uh, when improved, it's giving science. Actually, I didn't notice that at first, but uh, it's already plus four science from luxuries. That is pretty sweet. Okay, now we need to improve these horses so that we are ready for the Terracotta army. Five turns on the horseman. And we can upgrade one of our warriors, but we want to leave the other one unimproved until we get the Terracotta army. So currently we are getting what? We are getting warrior, spearman, pathfinder, chariot archer, and the maximum that we can get is that horseman on top of that. Is there anything else? We have that, we'll have this, we have this one, we have this one. No, can't get anything else. But I think it's what, five units? That's still pretty decent. Uh, India founded religion, not a big surprise that India managed to do that first. And yeah, they said they will grow pretty quickly. Uh, what the boy? And I wanted to sell that lapis. Uh, again, forget to check in time. You are offering. Oh, you don't have money. What about you? That's a decent deal. That's for six per turn. And uh, it's a trade with Arabia to hopefully decrease the chance they would attack us. Hoping that Arabia and uh, uh, Greece will fight. It'll be a pretty important war early. You want to work together? Sure. I think. I didn't notice. Uh, Rome being a Greek enemy, so hopefully being friends with both of them is not a problem. There is some more iron, actually there's six more iron, that's nice. And Portugal expanding, expanding towards us, so the war is inevitable. But that's fine, we want to fight them. Militaristic neutral. What's your specialization? Maori warrior. Hmm. Oh, an Eldorado. That could be interesting. We could maybe even steal that at some point with the great general because I think Valletta will control it soon. But we want the city in this area at some point, right? So then it's probably worth investing in general to steal a wonder with so much gold and scaling culture. Discovered for Kathmandu. I didn't even know we had that uh, quest, so good for us. 
it was 250 ish golden age points which means our golden age started to nine turns that's nice uh barbarians discovered yeah that's a little too far for us and tokyo is growing i think we want to work the sheep rather than the sea tile What I don't like is that Portugal is trying to steal my camp. Come on, that's mine. There is Samarkand, hostile mercantile. Eh. Can we somehow delay the golden age? until we improve the lapis tile is it even worth it we need 22 turns now it's not and it's probably impossible Lose that barbarian camp now. Ah. And another city state, but this looks like just looks like just like a large peninsula. So maybe if we can get a city somewhere in between these mountains and of course take over Portugal, we might be able to get it for ourselves. It's actually not bad with the river in the middle and all the flat plains. I think that's gonna be our goal. Get all of this territory. The city states are quite annoying because they they are limiting uh, our options when it comes to um, like city locations. But it's a lot of territory. Yep, there goes the camp. And Alexander declared on Gandhi. Okay. I think Gandhi might be in trouble because uh, this is where Alexander is strongest. And he's expanding this way as well. One, two, three. I guess the city right here is what we need. They'll be in the range of the Amber, Salt, some Flood Plains. Then I think we need a city here. That controls both the Iron and the Lapis on the other side. That's gonna take a while to get these city locations. We will probably have to fight Greece. There are barbarians. Okay, we can take out that camp. Okay, slow down. That is my city and 
I really don't like being attacked. Uh, the horseman can stay here, so we get vision fortify. Can we move through their territory? No, there is nothing. I thought there might be something interesting on the other side, but it looks like there might be an island. It's worth checking sometimes in places like this. You get uh, the Great Barrier Reef. And we have one more turn. So do we have everything? Uh, we have the Horseman. So we should have all the units that we can duplicate with Terracotta Army. Uh, oh, really? How did she get a great library? Okay, so here it is, everything. Uh, promotions, that's gonna be... I'm thinking survivalism. And have him join the army. Make him a medic or something. Yeah, we can probably do that. Two, you will get the shock. Same here. And here as well. It was 150 culture. Didn't they say something about like getting a lot of culture from the Terracotta army? Receive a large sum of culture when completed. Well, I'm not sure the 150 qualifies. Another religion. How are we doing on religion? 14 turns. There's still three. Well, hopefully we get our religion. So we have 10 units out of 15. Uh, the Pathfinder can stay in the city for now. How much money do you have? 230. Well, we're gonna need the iron. How long is it gonna take for the board to go four turns we can wait just in case we get lucky and get the iron if we don't then i'm gonna buy it thinking if he can already declare on portugal i don't think so we are missing some important uh, units i'd like to get a few swords and i definitely like to get two catapults so when we get catapults then we attack because they'll also allow us to upgrade our chariot archers because chariot archers are horrible they can't move through rough terrain at all or very slowly and when upgraded they become significantly better okay so this is what we declare when we get the mathematics and two catapults oh that's a barbarian island okay Thinking where are we gonna start the attack? Might be better to actually start it on Porto. It's gonna be stronger. But it's better than Braga. I think that's gonna be the goal for the first war. Portugal can have Braga for a while, but we want to take Porto away from them. Let's start preparing the invasion. Oh, wait, um, that was a mistake. I wanted to kill these barbarians. Oops. So you can go down and the horsemen will join. It's fast enough. Okay. So what do we want to do in the capital now? We definitely don't want stoneworks, but we probably want watermill. 
Uh, do we need another settler? We will get another settler from the next social policy. We could use a city down here. It's not the highest priority, but uh, we want to control this territory because some of the AIs would definitely be interested. Um, here in the center, we'll just get a citadel here at some point. So we need one more settler for now, and that we'll get from the next social policy. We don't have to worry about settlers. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. Oh, in one turn we get the forge. Okay, so that's the next building we want to build. There's iron working. You need horses. Yeah, I know that. I'm working on it. Um, oh, more barbarians. And now we want the forge. Good. Move. Move. How long is this going to take? Seven more turns. How are we doing happiness wise? Four. Yeah, we'll have to solve the isolation problem at some point. Salt, we should be able to get salt. We'll just take that from uh, Portugal. And how much money do we have? 180. The city needs some production desperately. Problem is, you don't quite have enough money yet. We have to sell the lapis once we get it. Then we can buy this tile. How long? Two more turns. Of course, if we get this tile, then we can buy this one. Fortify, fortify, go. A Roman Colosseum, don't care about that. I'm a bit nervous about the Great Library in uh, Portuguese hands, because that's gonna speed up her development a lot. I didn't expect her to do so well. For now, this is the best option, but once the horses are improved, I'll try to remember and uh, switch. Another religion. Now I'm getting nervous. Okay, what did we get? We got the flat plane, of course, which means we want to buy the iron. And how are you doing? Four more turns. Come on, work faster. Actually, we do have the money to buy this tile as well now. Um, this is gonna be movement and with 11 gold per turn anyway, we can buy this tile and work it right away barbarians are having some fun in the north but anything that slows down portugal is good can we keep an eye on them, let's say from this tile? Yep, that gives us decent vision. So far just warriors and the archers, that's good. When we run at them with um, uh, swordsmen, uh, that should be a nasty surprise. Just hope we can do that in time. Uh, 
we doing again? Three turns. Come on, work faster. I think I'm actually gonna buy one worker. We should capture quite a few, but uh, we need workers even before we can capture these two or three. Uh, 44. Didn't even have to send the spearmen. I wasn't sure what we're gonna find in the camp. I was a bit nervous that we may find a swordsman. Another religion. Okay, now I'm really nervous. That should be one last. There are the horses, so let's swap and let's go for that iron. Uh, we need eight turns for mathematics, then we're gonna need a few turns for catapult. So we won't start the attack with swordsman, but uh, we should be able to send them as reinforcements in a few turns. Also, we need some time to get those catapults to Porto, so maybe we will be able to upgrade some units to swordsmen actually wait the upgrade um, for spearman is where is it pikeman where's pikeman am i blind where are pikeman Spearman. They upgrade to Tercios and Swordsman is a different line, so we have to train them. Okay, so we don't have to worry about gold for upgrades yet. I always get this confused for some reason. I think that we can make swordsmen from warriors. Embassy. Nope. Okay, there is the forge. 128 for engineer. We will grow in 16. Here we we'll grow in 27. That's a huge difference. And we would get the engineer at 32 though. Uh, I think that's worth it. So that we get the first manufacturer up as quickly as possible. And then we'll again switch so that we grow faster. Mm. Now we need water mail. Arena and do we have plantations? We don't. I still want that plus one food. Yeah, let's get the herbalist as well, I think. But I may delay those buildings once we get them. Um, our iron finally. Come on, keep moving. Um, okay, I'll just get out of there. I don't know where he's coming from, but I don't want to take damage. Let's sit here.
How are we doing with the Lapis here? Come on, five more turns. Five turns for mathematics, six turns for the... Yeah, four and six turns for the wall. There is the Prophet. And that is our religion. So what are our options still? Heroes Worship. Basically just heroes worship. And the other option. There's still inspiration. Inspiration has been nerfed, so maybe I'll pass. But scholarship is still available somehow. And again, I will just take scholarship to make sure the AIs don't get it. Otherwise, I'd maybe take Mondeers. What else is there? Not much. Yeah, let's take scholarship. And uh, we need science anyway. Uh, because we skipped uh, our libraries, universities, stuff like that. So every bit that we can get before we get dojos is useful. This is probably ideal for us. I'm quite surprised it's still available. And this is the last religion that can be founded. Okay, great. Eleven turns for that mine. Wait. Four turns for mathematics. Okay, fine. Let's get mathematics. I want to know how long it's going to take to get those uh, catapults. One, two, three. Can I steal that? I can. Thank you. How much money do we? 156. How do we get more? Three turns. That's the only way. And we try to get some cash. No, we can't get cash. I was hoping that maybe you'll have an option to sell to one of our friends. Fortify. And we also need to upgrade um, our chariot archers. This is gonna slow us down. Okay, where do we build the city? One, two, three, one, two, three. I think in between the stone. And hope that there is fish somewhere. I don't have time to quickly grab trapping see actually maybe we do have time uh, it's quite important to know uh, so let's go mathematics trapping
Currency, metal casting, steel. No, no, no. The other way around. Mathematics, trapping, metal casting, currency, steel. Yeah, that's better. I want to build uh, the circus as quickly as possible. And it should be safe, but just in case, I'll send escort it. Next. Mathematics is the game. Okay, here we have an easy kill. And what is the camp? Way too far. The correction of friendship expired. Hopefully he comes back. Was that the last? No, we still need one more policy. Because, if I remember correctly, there are some changes to Filthy that made it even stronger. Uh, postures... Well, I'll have to check the details, but I'm pretty sure there are some changes and I like filthy even more now uh, this is probably the best tile if you want to observe portugal still not that scary they're getting more and more units but uh, quite obsolete catapults 144 gold missing hmm so we have to build them. One, three turns, four walls. I really should wait for walls before I start doing anything. Uh, come on. That's that. You need some healing. And we also wanted Swordsman, but Swordsman still have to wait eight more turns. How much are these upgrades? 70? 70 isn't bad. I'm thinking if I should wait... Well, with 3 gold per turn, waiting most likely is not an option unless we get an amazing deal for the Lapis. You don't have money. Uh, I was hoping that we can get something from him. We are friends and he's broke. Okay, she's not an option. What about you? It's four gold per turn. But I think the best, this is the best we can get. I'll have to get some garrison units. Okay, you'll stay where you are, we'll save some money, you'll only upgrade uh, one skirmisher. And what do we have for the attack? Two horses that will protect the flank. Uh, Spearman will sit in front of the city. Where's the other one? Here, okay. And two catapults. That should be enough, I think. And we just need to get two swordsmen as quickly as possible because two swords should be able to easily kill anything that Portugal can uh, throw at us at this point. But well, uh, I'll think about it a bit more off camera. For today we are done. So I hope that you like this episode. I hope that you can join me next time again. And until then, have a good time.
拜拜。